Ah, good morning, everyone. It's uh, Garrett here. Uh, thanks for uh, tuning in today. Um, today, I want to talk to you a little bit about, um, you know, how you can stop doing the things you hate doing, right? And start doing the things that light you up. You know, maybe you guys are feeling stuck. Some of you are feeling like where I was um, in my life when I decided to make a ton of changes, which was things were just it's really boring. Like they were slowing down. It seemed like a, you know I wasn't getting inspired, and I wasn't. Uh, I was looking at life in a way that um, I started to ask some deeper questions. Like, you know, how come I wasn't feeling fulfilled when I thought I, you know, I was, I was doing well in life, but just didn't seem to be able to. Um, you know, it feels like I just didn't seem like I could get ahead anywhere, and and uh, you know that prompted me to make a ton of changes. And one of the things that uh, I learned through my growth was this little three-step process that allowed me um, to stop doing those things I didn't enjoy doing and start going after those things that you know really lit me up and made me excited in life. So I want to share that with you today. Um, and just give you a quick little, you know, three-step process. Okay, so, um, like I said, um, in my life, it was all about, you know, um, how I can get excited again, um, and how I can start, you know, going after those things I really loved, uh, because I didn't seem like I was doing that. So, this was uh, taught to me by our mentor, and I wanted to share it with you. So, it's a three-step process. Um, and it takes a little bit of awareness on your part. But uh, the way you stop is what I want you to do is to sit down there and I want you um, to identify a situation, okay, in your life where you just don't feel like you're getting the results that you feel like you want to, right? So an example would be, let's say you're, you know, earning a certain amount of income. Okay, and that income is not exactly what you imagined your income would be. Um, it could be a relationship that you're in that just, you know, isn't giving you the results or isn't giving you the feelings that you once wanted or that you believed it would give. So identify a situation where you're not getting what you want out of it. Okay, that's the first step. And in that first step, I want you to take out a piece of paper and we want you to write in as much detail Okay, as you possibly can to describe this situation. Um, so uh, if it has to do with your job, you know, you stop there, you sit down and you go, um, you know, I go to work in the morning, I struggle to get out of bed, I get in my car, I get to work. Um, I sit down at my desk, I turn on the computer, um, you know, I go through my emails and I, you know, I have low energy. Um, my boss always is, is getting down my neck. You know, I don't like the people I work with. Um, they're constantly complaining, you know, things like that. Or if it's uh, maybe it's a relationship you're in where, you know, um, I, uh, we don't seem to be connected. Um, you know, we're not enjoying and having fun together. We're not spending alone time. Um, we're not doing things that are, you know, done together. We're more on our own doing the things that we just want to do. Um, on our own. So identify that thing that you're not getting a result and really explain it in some detail. Okay, that's your first step. Okay, the second part of that first step is to take that same situation and write it out in a way in which you want it to be in as much detail as you can. Um, so again, back to the job, you know, I wake up with energy in the morning, excited to get to work. Um, I get in my car and I get to work. And the first thing I do is I, um, you know, go talk to my colleague and find out exactly what it is we want to get accomplished today. Um, I develop, you know, um, instead of checking my email and going through social media, I address the top three things um, that are I need to solve for the day. I spend less time on, um, you know, those remedial tasks okay so that's one or if you're in the relationship and you're like you know we go on regular dates uh, every day of our or pardon me every week we spend at least one day just the two of us uh, we do something new every day we share with each other um, how we want to see our relationship improve we are more vulnerable with our 
um, with our partners. We um, openly share dreams that we might have. So identify what that is. Identify how it feels. I feel happy. I feel excited. Um, I have a great attitude. All of those things. Write those clearly. Write that description clearly in the second part of the step one. So step one is becoming aware of a situation in your life in which you don't feel like you're getting the results you are. Writing that out in detail and then writing it out in detail the way you would like it to be. So that's step one. Step two, you're going to um, look back at your description of the way your situation is now and out of that, you're gonna create on another piece of paper two lists. One list is gonna have what we call your non-productive actions and the other one's gonna have productive actions, NPAs and PAs, okay? So from your description of how your situation is going now, we want you to identify your non-productive actions in that situation. So it's things like, um, um, I spend too much time on my email when I get to work. I am often distracted by uh, my colleagues gossip. Um, I, you know, take micro breaks um, throughout my day and don't have any consistency, okay? So those are the non-productive actions. As soon as you write those down, we want you to then write out your productive actions on the other list, immediately replacing them, right? So, um, you know, I spend, you know, like I said, I, I, I don't spend consistent time at work and one time I'm always doing these little micro breaks. Your productive action will be, I am focused and productive for one hour blocks throughout my day at work. So that's the productive action to replace the non-productive one. In your relationship, it might be the non-productive action. Um, we don't take time for ourselves. The productive action is every day a week, every, day, every week we're gonna do one date night. And that's the productive action that replaces that non-productive action. So in this second step, um, you're going to identify those um, non-productive and productive actions. Okay? So then once you've done that, okay, you've now replaced all of the non-productive with productive actions. Now we want you to go back to that list. Okay, so this is the third step okay is for you to go back to that that um, that list and we want you then to um, look at them and go like if I changed all my non-productive actions to these productive actions would I get the results I want right um, if the answer is yes then you go through that list and you only pick and this is really important only pick one or two of those to start acting on immediately. So let's say in the relationship, say every week we are going to spend one date night. Okay. That would mean that you'll start applying that right away. That will then allow you the time to do what you believe is a productive action that will replace a non-productive action, which is we don't spend time uh, together. Okay. Or it might be, you know, um, every other day or every few days we are going to sit down and, ide and write out a list of places we want to improve our relationship and share that with our partner, right? That's the productive action that's going to replace the non-productive action if we don't do things that um, improve our relationship and take us to the next place, okay? So as you do this, um, one of the things that's a very powerful symbolic um, action to take, okay, is to take the sheets of paper which have your unwanted results and your non-productive actions and you actually physically either shred them or burn them okay this action being symbolic right um, allows you to mentally release them and by mentally releasing them you make space in your mind for the new productive action and the new and improved situation to start manifesting itself in your life Okay, so this is a really great way to start shifting from the things that you don't like doing and the results you aren't getting in your life 
to immediately start attracting the things you do want in your life and to start doing the things you really, really love, okay? One very important point, again, that I will really want to stress here is when you identify the non-productive action or a non-productive habit, okay, and you start working on that one at a time, okay, you can't just get rid of it a non-productive action or get rid of the habit. You actually have to replace it, okay, with a new, improved, and better one. Or it will replace itself with another bad habit, with another unproductive action. Okay, so you have to consciously replace it with a good one. That's a really important step that a lot of people don't realize when they're making changes in their habits is they can't just stop doing something. Right? You can't just stop um, eating a certain bad food because it will be replaced by another bad food that you're going to eat, for example. Okay, So there's a really, really effective uh, way in which you can um, start going after the things that you love in life, experiencing them all again, improving areas of your life that you want. Um, this is just a little touch, a little taste of what we're going to be sharing with you at our... Um, Manifest Your Dream Life workshop starting uh, next week from the 26th to the 30th. We want you to join us for that. Make sure you carve out time. Show up for this. Um, there will be a link somewhere here that you can, you can sign up for the workshop. That will allow you and give you access to the workbook um, that you'll use throughout the, the workshop. And that's an effective way to really start driving home some of the points, the lessons, and the techniques we're going to give you in that workshop that will lead you towards living the life of your dreams, all right? So I hope that um, gave you some little bit of uh, uh, ways in which you can start right, way, right away moving towards the dreams you, you've always wanted to experience. Share with us in the comments, say hi when you can, um, and we will respond right away. So hope to see you guys on uh, Monday. Don't forget, sign up for that workbook. Uh, this is gonna be an amazing, amount of information that if you can, you know, when you show up for it and you start putting um, the action in place, you are going to change your life. Remember, you know, this is not the time of knowing, uh, of just knowing. It's also the time of actually knowing how to and to actually applying that. So do that now, okay? Don't wait. You're worth it, right? You want to change or you wouldn't be here, right? You want to change now. We'll see you on Monday, uh, if not sooner. Talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.